This is dumb. What? It's it's a card game. Calm down. I'm gonna draw two more because I asked you if you had any. You're supposed to show me your hand now. No. It's yeah, not. show me your hand. Oh, that's bull. Then I'm not taking the two extra. No, that's then. bull. No. No. Let's You're see. taking those. So, show me your hand. You have to show me your hand. I challenged you. So if you were damn playing I poker, you. I challenged you. You're like, hey. This ain't poker. <laughs> Uno. That's Stop. not right. It's, no, it's completely right. You can't do that. It's You're using it to your advantage. And you know you are. You just don't want to see what I'm holding. Do you want to show me? I don't want to show you. That's not right. <laughs> Okay, so we're out here at the uh, Cedar Glades. They call it a BMX park and little skills area. Now, they do have some mountain bike trails out here, but I'm going to take the GT Aggressor Pro with the new Lutu forks on there. Today is all about testing these guys out. You guys seen the install video. Then they got some wooden jumps that look pretty intense. So uh, hopefully everything holds up on the little area. Uh, Lutu $144, 120 millimeter travel with rebound control or whatever fork off of ebay ebay that you had a 150 dollar budget mm -hmm. uh we decided uh, first one well, we definitely want to do some jumps so we took it out to uh, cedar glades that's the footage here i just wanted to make sure my whole uh, stem well, handlebars this isn't everything the footage here this is the footage of you warming up yeah warming up yeah there's no crazy jumps here but anyway i wanted to warm up and just make sure everything kind of stayed together which was important and then uh, here in a second, we're going to hit up the ramps. Everything felt pretty good on the forks. Um, I like how squishy they are, <clears throat> first of all. Um, and I kind of set it with uh, like the least amount of compression, middle compression, then lockout that day. But uh, these, this little park is perfect for people that want to come out and just try their bikes out or try their parts out and maybe try, you know, their formation, their formation, their form whenever they're jumping. I think it's more for people to practice stuff. Practice, yeah. yeah. And you don't really see too many people hitting the wooden jumps. I think they're pretty intense uh, myself, but I'm just going to hit a couple of tabletops first. That rebound, I think, makes a world of difference as far as not hearing it bounce back after you you take air you know after you get to that point there there's not like boom they're not real loud at all they're nice and quiet I'm gonna hit the wood one I think this is an infomercial for the forks already look the the, the forks came just kind of like the ZTZs I was worried about them because they did they didn't leak but they definitely had some problems out the get-go yeah they they didn't fully extend it now I don't know if this is normal or not but I thought well let's give them you know let's yeah, break them in and see what happens yeah because really all you could see was in between the 100 and the 80 millimeter marks on the stanchions so I was worried about them fully extending like you're saying they came shipped with uh, I think it was was right at 70 well they were compressed when they yeah came they were ship, compressed too. so i figured out how to break them in this was the break-in period because i had a couple of days without riding it or even looking at the bike and then i went back into the shop and the uh, compression knob was still on where you can see it right here you know really close to the lockout and they were squishy as heck i mean it was still they didn't lose any air pressure i checked the air pressure and i think i had set it at um 65 and it was really squishy up front i'd say it's it's really good when it's um between the least amount to about halfway once you're past halfway it's either locked out or not there's not really a lot of wiggle room in between there but like that where it's at right now that's really close to lockout if you go over well, anymore I thought, I thought you run it like you always say you run it like at three quarters all yeah the time. and that's right at about three quarters maybe a little bit less but as soon as you click over from that three quarter mark okay well you just said half a second ago three quarter half i mean it's it's <laughs> it a just big difference yeah it's just not fully not fully, um, I don't know, you can't make a bunch of changes with that compression knob, and that does drive me nuts after you get past, I'd say, the half point. It's either half point and less, or half point and lockout is where you get the most movement. But uh, here's the Hayes Creek run test. 
just rode this. It's an awesome trail at Mount Nebo State Park. Right. And it just opened just like a opened. week ago. Yeah. Father's Day weekend, I believe, is when it opened. We were camping in Hot Springs. Yeah. Okay, um, great trail. Way. You start out hot, but uh, these, and this really, if you can see the new bars and grips and all that, this is after the little tool and the um, some of the cool little uh, accessories put on the GT Aggressor Pro. So we got to try the handlebars and the grips and all that out. But mainly, this was all about the forks. And um, they felt really good um, going through the trails and kind of traversing over these little rock gardens. And Mount Nebo loves to throw in rock gardens. But with that, see where I have to have that compression set. If I go any more to the left, it locks out for the rest of it. So it's either full squish or you're barely getting any kind of movement out of the front. And this is with the rebound right at 50% this entire trail. Now I might go back and try to mess with the, um, the amount of air that's in them. You know, and kind of play with that a little bit and see if I can find the, the sweet spot. But it's kind of hard to find the well, sweet spot. Well, I think you've been running too little of air. I, I might be, you know. Um, I'm, I'm tired of reading that graph on the back of it. But you, Every time you read it, you get it wrong, too. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, might need to take it out. But if you oh, keep yeah. watching, we got some uh, some really good wreck footage coming up. But uh, this this trail is intense. But, um, yeah, I might have to just kind of go back with the forks. And, and the maybe they just need a longer break-in period. I'm not sure as far as forks going. Are they not working properly yet as far as the extension? No, the extension's working great. Um, I've checked them last night. Night and the uh, the lockout, all that features working. The stanchion only shows a hundred millimeters, or it's like cut right in half between a hundred millimeters, if that makes any sense. Where that print is on the stanchion, so it's a little weird to me. I would like to see it 120, but I can definitely feel the 120 millimeters kick in whenever I come nose down like that, or right here, going at a pretty good pace and putting all my weight front, front uh, forward. I can really feel. It get all that squishy. You don't know if you feel 120 milli. You feel longer travel yeah. than you used to. Oh, 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 oh. Boom! Look at that. Damn. That's pretty good hand control. Ooh, lost it a little bit there. And I ripped my glove. I, I, you know, I, it might be it I'm might be whatever there. control you think it is, but what it's not is good bike control look at that. because it looked like you were an idiot going off the damn wrong. <laughs> Do you see it? And there was people's water balls and stuff down there I picked up and put to the side of the trail, tore my gloves, so that definitely takes well, people out. if you're out. not trying to go 100 miles an hour all the time, it'd be better. You're not racing. I know, that's what it feels like, and it's like to get that adrenaline rush, you want to just kind of get it, but definitely have to be a little more careful maybe on this trail, but I'm loving the 760 millimeter handlebars with those big old thick grips up and on there. Um, and luckily there was no problems with those at all. What there is a problem with is that that camera that's on the fork it drives me nuts. I don't I don't know. They need to make a better mount for that. That doesn't wiggle all the way around like that. Well, it's taken some abuse. Yeah, it's been abused. But this this trail is just so fast. But going back to the well, it's forks, going down a mountain. Yeah, going down a mountain. But I love the uh, the the travel, the just the response of the forks. Whenever I'm going um, just over anything, really, they feel really good. Like I said, the, the biggest problem is just the, the compression knob is kind of driving me nuts a little bit. But that might be just my fault, not adding the perfect amount of air. But it could be just it, it's like the ZTZ where it just does a piss poor job of micro adjusting mm -hmm. yeah the the rebound i kept it at 50 percent going down the mountain and i kept it at 50 percent when i was out there jumping i might ought to mess with that a little bit more and see how fast but i think i have it set too stiff right here i probably should loosen it a little bit i just didn't know that there was going to be so much of that right there just a bunch of bottoming out constantly on the rock gardens whoa bottoming out what do you mean? The stanchion's fully compressing. Oh, you're talking about you're bottoming up the fork. Yeah, I bottomed out probably two oh. or three times. But see, that's because I can't find that sweet spot on where I need to be yet. Well, yeah. And I'm, they're still new, you know. Um, they might not want to be bottoming. Yeah, I think you're a little wrong on that. I think you need to go a little harder than lighter. Harder, yeah. So that way you're not, uh, so probably a little bit more air and have it a little bit less compression so it jumps a little bit more or it jumps slower maybe that's what it is i don't i don't know about all that but i'm just saying you you, you definitely need to not be bottoming now <laughs> mm -hmm. but the the uh, the feel of them is what, what i love i can really feel just the amount of travel you know it's only 20 millimeters more than the ztz's i had on there 
but I think they've really saved my butt a couple times. And about that jump course at Cedar Glades, I think it really saved me because I come down so nose heavy on one of those. I don't, I don't think I don't think they. I, I disagree on them saving you. Mm -hmm. I think it's something that's more you, my you, skills. Uh, no, I think you just you put it that it's done some m miraculous thing when really it's just been a fork. Yeah, I think it's okay. I think I think I think they're good. I think for the money, they're really good. I think they've held up to some torture. Uh, this trail, as this you can trail, see, this trail, the the jumping and all that stuff. I mean, it, you you put them through some stuff, no doubt about it. They have taken some abuse, and they're still going fine. Yeah, but you make it sound like that they've completely saved your life, you know, or yeah. something. And, and save your life, you know. Yeah, no, no they, they didn't. didn't. Yeah, they didn't save my life, but these forks did a really good job. So. Um, one hundred and forty-four dollar Lutu forks. I would buy them again, and let's just see after maybe a few months of riding on them and getting to know them. You know, see how they are. Yeah, so. we'll do a we'll do an update video in a, a month or two, and it'll cover the Lutus and everything else. The so. handlebars, the yeah. grips, the new chain. Well, ring. but you probably do need to address the seat. The uh, seat throughout was actually pretty comfortable. I did have to tilt it back a little bit because the angle I think that my bike's at more, I guess it's that slack is to thank for that. And it's not a massive amount, but really having that plastic, really light, um, ugly seat on there, I don't know, I liked it, you know? The $9 uh, Virtue seat, ugly and all, you can't see it when I'm riding it, but man, that thing is a... Uh, Pretty comfortable for being a plastic seat. And along with the uh, forks, just all the other videos that we do, make sure you guys uh, be on the lookout for the new tires that I just rode down that trail on, if you didn't notice. There'll definitely be a uh, review on those and a uh, first impressions and all that good stuff. Some good budget tires, buddy. Really good.